these are the five acres that we bought. You drive up the mountain, come up here, and you go right into our property. We're at the very, very end of the mountain here. But this whole area is flat, or almost flat. It has a slight slope going in that direction. Slight, slight slope. But um, we just finished planting. You will see in the videos these red maples, one right there and one about there. This right here is our future home. All of this is the field that you see in the videos where the prior owners used to plant corn all along inside the field. They also had horses. That's why this part of the property is fenced in. And this is a, it's a little barn where the horses used to be kept. But this is the area where you will see the big, huge red maples that we just planted. My husband and I have come to this area of the property where there's a row of pine trees, huge pine trees, um, as a windbreak from the prior owners. It's huge pine trees. It continues way back there. I will take you there sometime, some other time, because right now we're just starting to clear up this area. <laughs> oh, a little late? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we have trees that are dead in the property that need to come down. So that's what we're looking for. We're searching the property. But five acres of wooded area is pretty hard to search. Part of the house is there. There's a fence. And this is the clear yard way in the back. Not the field I always film, but this is the other side. I'll show you here on the map in a few minutes. We are right here, right there. On the video, you'll see that I pan around this way so you could see part of the house right there. And then all of this area back here. But these are the trees that I show that are pine well over 100 feet tall. This area here is the one we're starting to clear out right now. And this little area right here is where I'm going to turn into a food forest. Okay. I did it. Good. Saving this tree right here all red. Beautiful. Which, um, again, we don't know what's in this property. But look at this rich soil. Incredible. This tree was rotted on one side. And then somehow, sometime, another tree was born. And it looks beautiful like this. So we are just taking care of this tree, opening it up so that we can continue the plant underneath it, but at least help it somehow. Um, let's take all these bags out. Yeah, to start to. Here's where another red tree will go, right there. And there's where the other red tree will go, right there. I plan to have a lot of red trees where the house will be. Here we go. Here's the end product. Here's my little tree. It's November 2nd, 2017. This is the name of this one. Autumn Blaze Maple. We'll see. Come next year. 
That's one of them. There's the other one. Oh, excuse my walking around the field. This one is Burgundy Bell Maple. Again, we'll see next year. Let's see. You can see the picture on there. So we planted them higher, about six inches higher, and hopefully this time they won't die. So let's see what happens. I'm trying something, I'm trying something new here. Because it is November the 2nd, and we do get ice here and we get snow, I'm putting the containers that these trees came in around the base of both trees. So when we get our first ice, hopefully we give these trees a fighting chance. Thank you, babe. So there we go. I'll keep you posted if it's good or bad. We just finished planting these two maples in the field. But I kind of wanted to show you the colors, how they're developing. Very pretty. I know that pile right there. It was a compost pile. It was here before. We just keep putting more. I'm going to turn it sometime here next week. I'll film that.